Hi folks, this is Mr. Westin here, and my goodness, I've had a bit of a break. Um, essentially, the last video I did was actually last year on December 24th, I believe, and this is my first one back for the year. Um, I was originally going to do this um, next Monday, but I thought, forget it, because I actually want to play this game right now. So this is my unboxing video of the Talzans and Fonya Hill Chronicles Collector's Edition. Um, now, one thing to start, I do have my Agnes figure right next to me because when I first actually saw this, um, and of course the Bravely Default, um, I thought the reverse was true, that um, Bravely Default Collector's Edition was actually going to be smaller um, than the Tales of Symphonia Chronicles, and this was actually going to be larger. Um, I actually said that when I first picked it up, so I was actually quite surprised. So I'm just going to quickly pause this because I'm just going to take the plastic off and we'll get right to it. Right, what, now that I've got that out of the way, the plastic's all off right here. Um, one other thing I should probably mention is that, of course, um, as much as we actually did get in Australia, this has, in fact, got a sticker on it. So it's not actually properly printed. You can actually see the UK stuff on the back of it. And, of course, on the back cover, you'll be able to see all the stuff that's included. So you get yourself a original novel of Never Revealed Story from the Tales of Symphony of Symphonia series, um, which of course is in English, um, the game itself, obviously. Exclusive artwork created by Unfortable. I think that's about right. I'm, I apologize if I can't pronounce that properly. Two original soundtracks, which is very, two original soundtrack, which is very nice. And of course, set of five figurines, which is Lloyd, Colette, Emil, Marta, and Tenebra. Tenebrae. Again, sorry if I pronounce that properly. It's pronounced that properly. Um, another thing I do need to mention is apparently you do need to um, put these together, as I was told by someone from Facebook. Um, so here we go. So this slips off quite. Well, it's actually quite a snug fit, actually. So that's off. And here you'll be able to see the game itself, which of course I believe is the UK version. Let me just try and take that sucker out. Come on. Oh, actually, better forget. This is, of course, the um, instruction booklet, actually. So they've actually kept the instructions on the out, um, outside, like I did with um, Tales of Zillia, actually. They had a nice cover of that, but then again, it is the UK version. And, of course, this is the UK um, game itself, which, of course, can play on your PS3 as well, uh, depending on what one you have. All right, here is the book itself. Now, it is pretty thick, which is always nice. Little thing on the back, always good. So that's that. All right, inside here should in fact be uh, the little figurines, and I believe that's it. And I think just the box itself. So you got the box, right. So let's open this up. Well, hang on. I do need you do in fact need something as sharp to do it or just your fingers. I'll try and get this with my fingers. I believe I can. Okay, I'm not. Bear with me for a moment. Right, so here we go. So they all come in like this. So of course they Okay, so it's not as much as I initially thought. Um so of course you got the head, the body itself, and I believe. Okay, so there is a separate sheet as well. All right. Also, there's not much um, assembly that you just need to do. That's always nice. So we got this one as well. And I think there is a, aha, uh -huh, okay. Okay, so they've done that. And let me just take the last one off, which of course I believe is void. There we go. Now. The CD, I believe, should be, in fact, in the... Hang on. I just need to take out the... That stuff. Aha! Alright. So you got the soundtrack there as well. So you got... Ah, here we go. The OSTs here. So you got disc one here and disc two here. And it's actually pretty um, hefty, actually, when it comes to the soundtracks. I'll try and get this open. Come on. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so it is pretty um, hefty when it comes to the music. I think there's about... Um, 
Oh, there we go, 44 songs on disc two. And about, about 54 on disc one, which is always nice actually. So they've done quite a lot in there. And of course there's a little thingy my bob here to get all that stuff there. All right, so I'm gonna try and quickly assemble this stuff so you can see what it looks like. And I'll be right back. And here is everything lined up. Oh, bit of rubber plastic there. All right, so you got your instruction booklet, of course, the novel, the game with the two CDs in there, the figurines. Um, now, it is worth mentioning the figurines take about, let me think, I would have taken maybe less than five minutes to for all of them to put together. One thing worth mentioning, the cat, however, I'm not sure of its name. There is no stand for it. Everyone else, there's actually a stand for them. You can see the stick on the back. That is how they're able to stay on there. So if you are planning on displaying these, which of course I am, you got to be careful of the cat. I think it's Tenebrae. Um, you have to forgive me. I set a little disclaimer. I have not actually played Tales of Symphonia, um, Tales of Symphonia or Tales of Symphonia uh, Dawn of the New World. I think that's right. Dawn of the New World, oh, thank goodness for that. Um, this is actually my first outing to it, because I never owned a PS2 or a Wii. Now, Wii was, of course, when they were first launched. PS2 had some remake stuff on there. Um, unfortunately, the only character I know off by heart is Lloyd, but that's only because I pretty much played um, Tales of... Oh, oh, it was Radiant Mythology. I can't remember the, the rest of it, unfortunately, so sorry about that, folks. Right, so this is my Tales of Symphony Echo Chronicles unboxing for someone who's actually never played the game. Um, so yeah, um, I would hope, like to do a little um, first impressions video of the game itself, um, but I'll do that at a later date once I've played, put a few hours into it. Right, so I'll try to end it here. This is Mr. Weston. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.